elevator pitch, consistency, turning up to the same meeting every single month. We did. You must see that with your meets, with both of you guys. The people who are consistent, you start mentally attributing them kind of, kind of almost credibility for turn up rate. Um, do you want to talk through, you know, well, it's true, isn't it? There is some truth to it, yeah. Um, I'm not sure how it's thought so, but for me, um, yeah, people that uh, go a lot, one hour will spend more time with. Yes. Uh, some people that sort of just drop in and out. Yeah. So, say one of my regulars phones me up and says, look, I've got this situation, I will help them. Yes. So, yes. So, as they, so for that side of it, I think they get a lot more out of it. Now, yeah. People, yeah. People put a, it's that visibility is critical. And do you also find you can really identify the people in your meeting who are the takers and the people in your meeting who are the givers? And so who, who has, I mean, it's an obvious question, but who has got the most credibility? Yeah. Yeah. And it's blatantly obvious, isn't it? You know, give me money or how can I help you? And maybe I'll make some money too. But it was what you said, David, about, you know, identifying how I would make money for other people. And that's why I was successful at fundraising. Um, and also I wasn't wanting to put my needs first. My needs will come because I can't do business without those needs being satisfied or I'll go out of business. But let's make sure it works for both parties in as much as I can. So consistent people get deals, consistent people get funding, and people who put other people's needs first as well. Um, and don't expect to do business on the night. You are simply making an introduction, take it offline, have a phone call, have a meeting, go through the whole process we've talked about this morning, the mathematical process. Um, so it's really, that's just the opener, if you like. I do ask you, um, they'll come up and say, I've got money, who do you want me to do? Should I go talk to all Yes. Watch? And you then point out various people, and it's up to them to go and do the due diligence and to watch and observe them. Absolutely. And then you do get the others who come up and go, well, I heard there's a lot of money in your room, and I've been here tonight, and no one's offered me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you think, I wonder why. Yeah. I've been asked in this group, and obviously I'm not going to name any names, but I've had people come up to me and say, we've got this much money, who should we work with? Well, who do you think I'm putting them to? People that I feel are doing a very good job, are thinking about other people's needs, about their own needs, and delivering a consistent outcome, even if they're at the early stages of their development, if you pardon the pun. Um, so so the, the, the kind of group leaders, if you like, are going to be signposters. So be very consistent. Talk to those who know you, good marketing, and introduce yourself. And then follow through. I can't emphasize enough the follow through.